Hello, I heard everyone here with more Remember Death. Riku has died. And we all have got these animal masks on. And that's the extent of what we know. <laughs> Alright, are you feeling better? Oh, that's Simon's voice. Uh... <laughs> I've already forgotten voices. Let's see. Are you feeling better, Nana? Y yeah what, what should we do now? Well, we have to start looking for a way out of this place. Can we first move Riku from here? I can't see him like this. I mean, eh, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> y yeah, sure. I think it would be best if we move him from here. Let's put him in the room I found for now. We'll figure out what to do with him later. Hmm. Turn on the music. I don't know if it's loud for you guys, but it's loud for me. And okay, where was I? Oh yeah, let's put him in the room. I f let's put him in the room I found for now. We'll figure out what to do with him later. All right. Simon and I moved Riku to the small room, then went back. N now what? Um... Oh, beep beep. H huh? What was that? I think it came from the helmets. Hmm. Maybe the helmets unlocked, unlocked or something. It does feel lighter now, that, now after the sound. Simon held his helmet with both hands and started taking it off. Simon, what the hell are you doing? Ignoring Alice, Simon proceeded removing his helmet. Ta-da! S Simon, are you alright? Yeah, just like I thought. The helmets did unlock. What the hell is wrong with you? Doing something like that! You could have ended up dead just like Riku! But Riku tried taking off his helmet too soon, which led him to dying somehow. Mm. Liam also removed his helmet. So did Alice and Sarah. So that leaves you and me, Nana. Mm. Let's get this thing off. All right. Nan and I remove the helmets together. Hmm, what is this? What is it, Kotaro? A piece of paper fell from my helmet. I don't have anything in mine. Me neither. Seems I'm the only one who had this in my helmet. Let's see here. I think it's some sort of letter. What does it say? Here, I'll read it out for everyone. Welcome all seven of you. You are all specifically picked to participate in my play. Huh? Play? What the hell is this? I don't know. Let me continue reading. <laughs> don't interrupt like an asshole, Liam. <laughs> if you are reading this, that means you removed the helmets. I hope none of you tried to remove it before it unlocked. Yeah, that sure, sure would suck if someone did that, huh? Because if you did, that will trigger a poison from the bracelet located on your leg. The poison would not kill you instantly. It would take two hours before it reaches vital body parts. If you look around, you will find three doors. A red door, a blue door, and a big brown door. The red door will only open if you find the hidden key card. Everyone can escape using that door. The blue door will, only, will open if two or more people die in this place. If, no, two, two or more people die in this place. And it will only be open for two minutes. 
only one person can go through the blue door. After it closes, the others have only 20 minutes to find the key card. Who didn't escape will be trapped. The other three doors will unlock the first will unlock after the first voting. You can use them through freely. <laughs> What the hell? That's crazy! Sure is crazy. Who's doing all this? As for the brown door, you will find the courtroom behind it. Like in Judge! In this room, each of you will vote for one of the seven people. Here are the voting rules. The person with the biggest amount of votes will be eliminated. Everyone must have their helmets on when voting. If someone does not vote, that person will el be eliminated. The first voting will start 15 minutes after the helmets were removed. You have six hours to escape. Be careful. You don't know what could kill you in this place. Enjoy your stay. I didn't notice this bracelet on my leg. I guess I was too busy processing what is going on here. What the hell? Why do we have to put this stupid helmet on if we have these on our legs? I don't know. For aesthetic. I don't think the helmet itself has poison in it. Then why do we have to put it on when voting? Well, this is how I think it works. The helmet only closes when it's on the head of the person. If the helmet wasn't on lock when the voting begins, that will trigger the poison in the bracelet. How would you know all that? Well, it is just logical, but letter didn't mention the poison being in the helmets. And that will also explain why it needs two hours for a person to die. Because it will travel from the leg until it reaches the vital parts of the body. I think that might be the case. But even if it wasn't, it doesn't matter anyway. If we didn't do as the letter says, we're dead for sure. You're saying that because of what happened to Riku, huh? Y yeah Can't risk making any mistake. I turned around and noticed that Liam and Alice are having an argument. Don't you think it's a bit weird, Liam? What are you talking about? You have a fight with Riku when then we all got drugged? And when we woke up, we found him dead? Hey, hey! What are you trying to say here? You think I did all this? Why would I go through all this shit if I only want him dead? Yeah, I didn't like the guy, but I don't freaking like anyone! <laughs> I wasn't gonna ruin my life just to kill him. Hmm. Besides, I'm not the most suspicious one here, Alice. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Don't play dumb, Alice. You are the only one who left the room back then. And do you think it's a coincidence that mere minutes after you left, the room got filled with that white gas? What? Now you're trying to accuse me? Drama. He does have a point. I was in the room next to you. And the white gas came into the washroom from a karaoke room. Ha! As if I'm gonna believe that. I don't give a shit what you believe. I didn't do this. I don't even have a reason behind it. Wow, I've never seen Alice like this before. Killing games do that to people. 
I should stop this. Listen, guys, we don't have time for this. The letter said that we only have six hours to escape. I don't think it's the perfect time for, to argue. Good, I managed to pull them apart. Alright, let's... Wait, Gotaro, didn't the letter say that the first voting will begin 15 minutes after the helmet's unlocked? You're right. Shit, we have to hurry up. Let's put the helmets on and go. Click. We all put the helmets on. A lot, like Simon said. Simon said. <laughs> okay, let's go in, everyone. All six of us hurried to the courtroom. This room is bigger than I expected. There's a big black screen on the wall. I wonder what it is for. I looked to the left and saw seven small rooms lined up next to each other. So, these rooms... There are seven rooms and seven of us. Six now after what happened to Riku. I think the voting is inside these rooms. A room for each one of us. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, let's do this. Wait, how are we gonna vote? I don't even give this a thought. <laughs> I think the best way is for everyone to vote for themselves. Look at look at Simon. Only one with a brain around here. <laughs> That way, we all have the same amount of votes and can reduce the chances of anyone voting for someone else. This sounds reasonable. This is total bullshit! If you vote for yourself and someone else votes for you, you'll end up dead! We just have to trust each other here. After all, we are friends. Simon is right. This might be the easiest way to do this. Let's not waste any more time. Liam is definitely not going to vote for himself. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that plan. Yeah, yeah. If we all just vote for ourselves, there's no way anyone can have more than one vote. <laughs> Liam's like, yeah, right. <laughs> we all picked a room and entered a vote. The only f thing in the room is this white screen. It has all of our names on it. So all I have to do is touch the name of a person I want to vote for. I just have to go with the plan. Everyone else is going to vote for themselves. If anyone goes off plan, we might end up killing each other. Okay, here goes. Touch my name and the screen turned off. Oh, I didn't even choose. Alright. <laughs> Stepped out of the voting room, so did Alice and Simon. Sarah, Liam, and Nana were all were already exiting next to the big screen. Black screen lit up. I guess the screen is for showing the voting results. We don't need votes, because we already know what happened, don't we? <laughs> We're all waiting here. Nobody is talking. I trust my friends. Why are my hands shaking? It's almost as if I... feel like someone's gonna kill me or something. <laughs> I like them good VLR sound effects. And here we have Liam. Yup. <laughs> What? Rip me. <laughs> Everyone was speechless. They just looked at each other with confusion. What, what did... Liam, how could you? We all promised to vote for ourselves. I didn't, I didn't promise anything. <laughs> yep. I didn't promise anything. 
You... Do you know what you just did? I was just being careful. How would I know you were not gonna vote against me? I don't know. <laughs> You've been sticking your nose in my business the minute we got here. I mean, I feel like you should have voted for Alice, cause it was more Alice doing that, and I was just like, "Hey, you two, let's let's stop fighting." <laughs> and, and votes for me. <laughs> that's just that's just mean. That's because you're being an asshole, even in a situation like this. I'm just call calling it as I see it. <laughs> Whatever. As far as I know, you could be the one who got us here. And I'm not gonna risk my life. What fucking weak excuse. You just wanna get out of here. You don't care if it ends up killing any of us. Of course I wanna get out of here. We already have one person dead. The hell can you be so sure about? We'll find a key card before we all get injected with poison. There might not even be one in the first place. God damn this guy. I'm gonna punch him in his fucking face. And I grabbed my arm. Listen, if what's written in the letter was true, we still have two hours before the poison fully affects you. Let's not waste time and get out of here. I'm sure we'll find the key and get these bracelets off. I was right. My life is in danger here. I don't have time. I don't have to starve stupid fight with this guy. Y yeah, I guess you're right. Let's go back to the main room now. We stepped out of the voting room and the door shut behind us. All six of us gathered around the center of the main room. The helmets unlocked and we took them off. It sure feels good to take these things off. You say that again. Doesn't feel good to know that you're gonna die in two hours, though. <laughs> now that we are done with the first voting, we should start looking for a key card, right? Yeah, and I hope I find it before a second voting. Because I'm gonna die, Liam. <laughs> The three doors should have unlocked now. The key card must be behind one of them. We should split up into three teams and investigate each room. That way we can save up time. Yeah, you have a good point there. But how are we gonna split up? Um, I think it's best if we- if I go with Kotaro. Huh, really? We both have the same rabbit helmets. I mean, these helmets must have a purpose, right? Even if it wasn't written in the rules, I'm sure there is a reason behind them. You might be right. Or, wait, that's Gotara. Why did Simon show up then? Whatever. <laughs> you might be right. The person who got us here might be testing us, playing with our lives. This is a possibility. As the letter said, this is all just to play for that person and that we don't know what the pos what could kill us here so i wouldn't be surprised if this was if this is a part of it too to play it safe we each should go with someone who has the same helmet y yeah that's what i was thinking too if we are doing this plan then I team up with Nana, Allison, Simon, and Liam teams up with Sarah. Oh, poor Sarah. But what about Riku? He had a horse helmet, right? Yeah, like me and Liam. I hope this doesn't lead to any trouble. I hope his dead body isn't inconvenient to us. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope so too. We all decided which door each team should search. Me and Nana decide to go through the door to the far left side of the room. Alice and Simon are going to search behind the door behind door A. Liam and Sarah are going through door B. Both doors were on the right side of the room. Everyone walked to their doors, including me and Nana. 
Careful, everyone. Let's meet up here 20 minutes before the second voting. They all nodded and went in. Ready to go, Nana? Yeah, let's go in. Alright. I opened the door and we both went in. I'm getting thirsty from all this reading. <laughs> oh yeah, this, this, these sections. And I forgot about this. Wow, this room is big. And now it's a platformer. <laughs> Can I talk to you at all? Oh, there it is. This place is larger than I thought. Where the hell are we anyway? I'm not sure. Let's just try our best to get out of here. Yeah. There is another door here. Probably leading to another room. Yeah, I think so too. Let's search this one first and then move to the next. I will check what's up there. Okay. Wee. Oh, I found something. What is it? It's a bag. I'll check what's in it. Be care. Oh, be careful. We don't know what could happen in this place. Yeah, you're right. Could just explode. But for now, but for what we know, the key card might be in here. Hmm. Search the whole bag, but the only things I found are these two pieces of paper. Huh? Is there anything written on them? Um. First one has me written on it, and the second one has or written on it. What are we supposed to mean? I'm not sure. It doesn't make sense. I don't think we'll find anything else in this room. Let's search for f the next one. Alright. Me. Maybe just like in VLR, we're on the moon, because I'm very floaty. <laughs> hmm. Another big room, eh? This one has a lot of bookshelves. Seems like it. Look, there's yet another door. Has to be s Oh, there has to be something in here. Maybe in one of the books. I hope we find something fast. We don't have time to search each and every book. Let's look for books that stand out. Yeah, let's do that. Hey, Kotaro! Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yes? Come up here, I think I found something. Oh, really? I'm coming up. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> Look, I found these in this book. Huh? Another two pieces of paper? How did you find them from all these books? This one just striped out to me. It was the only dark green book in this whole shelf. Good thinking, Nana. Let's see what we have here. First one has me written on it. And the second one has I written on it. Hmm... I can't form any word. I think we are still missing some pieces. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hmm. Still have a little time before the next voting. Nana, what's wrong? What if we don't find the key card? Oh, wait, what? You will. <laughs> Listen, Nana. We will find it. We'll get out of here. Oh, I... <laughs> Sometimes I don't comprehend what I'm reading well. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll get out of here and get help. I'm, I'm not gonna die this easily. Don't worry, it's all going to be alright. I gave her a small smile. <laughs> I'm acting all brave, even though I'm sh sh shivering. <laughs> Thought said shivering for a second, even though I'm shivering up from the inside. Let's take a look at the third room and hope for the best. Okay. 
Whee. Hmm. This room is not as big as the other ones. Yeah, it's almost empty. There's only there's only this table. There's two more pieces. Oh, and it has two more pieces on it. Oh, I can stand on her head. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Let me give it a look. First one has M written on it. And the second one has Nto written on it. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm supposed to spell Memento Mori with this. It seems that these are all the pieces we need to form something. Yeah. Let me try now. I got this. Got this baby. Meh. Uh. Mento. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Uh, no, wait. <laughs> Memento. Mori. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a genius. Oh yeah. I got a medal. Huh? Pieces fit perfectly together. What does it mean? You know what? I think I'm gonna end this episode off here. Because I don't want to get another super long episode again. <laughs> and I've been recording for a while. So next time, hopefully we'll do a vote. And try to prevent our death somehow but uh, I, don't, I don't know <laughs> if we'll be able to do that uh, anyway yeah so that's what's gonna happen next time see you in the next episode bye